Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly reading for July 16th through the 22nd. Uh, generally my readings are love readings, so just keep that in mind. If you're looking for about your finances, or if you're in a happily ever after relationship, you probably shouldn't be watching this. Um, if this reading feels right, it's for you. If it feels wrong, then it is not. Go with that. Um, we're going to get two oracle cards, one of these, one of these, and if it flips out while I'm shuffling, you get to see it now, otherwise it will be revealed at the end. If you'd like to book a private reading, look at the look in the description box below. Look at that, you got a flipper. Inspire passion. Life devoid of passion can be a boring, uninspired blank canvas that slowly drains the soul. Now is the time to reignite your passions and rejoin life. This is an opportunity to set new goals, which will in turn reconnect you with all that is sacred. I have to tell you, Scorpio, you have to follow your passion. This is your life. If you are in a situation that lacks passion, you need to remove yourself from it. Follow your passion. We're going to get one of these from Arch Archangel Michael. I always say Archangel, but then somebody will correct me, but that's the way I say it. So people feel the need to correct. And this one will be revealed at the end. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Love. You deserve to be loved. You deserve passion. You need to do what's right for you at this time. You need to put yourself first. You need to make a decision. I think that some of you are involved in a situation where you're not feeling loved. There's a reason these words are coming out of my mouth. Somebody needs to find the strength to make a decision. You're at a crossroads. Do you stay or do you go? Do what's right for you. You deserve to be loved. Somebody's not being loved. And you deserve to be loved. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could be dealing with a Leo. But I have to tell you that it is time for you to do what is right for you. You need to be logical here. What matters in life? Love. Being loved. Okay? You're at a crossroads. You're indecisive. Do you stay or do you go? You need to follow your passion. Follow your heart. You know, that strength card is about finding the power, the force within you to let go of something that doesn't fulfill you, okay? That strength is about courage. It's about facing your fears. It's about mastering your emotions. To speak up for yourself. So you, have a, you, you need to realize that you have another opportunity. The Five of Cups reverse is stop focusing on where there is no love, where your love has been thrown away. Stop focusing on that and allow this new love connection. There's a new love connection for you, Scorpio. But you have to make a choice. Do you stay where there's no love or do you allow this new love connection to happen? You're tempted. I can see that you're tempted. Um, there's extreme back and forth, back and forth here. You really don't know what to do. Um, I feel like you're being cheated. Okay, you are. You're being cheated, cheated of love. So we're going to go ahead and zoom this in. It's, and there's definitely some extremes with that temperance card reversed. 
uh, it's like you're back and forth, and this is back and forth as well. And it's really sad because at this time in your life, it's time for you to do what's right for you. You know, I feel like you you could be being manipulated by another person. They could be using emotional blackmail to keep you to stay. You know, they may be of this poor, poor, pitiful me kind of attitude. You know, and that's emotional blackmail. Okay. I feel as though whoever you're involved with, you know, is, is bringing you a lot of discontent to your life. Okay. There's an emotional loss here. There's a lo loss of joy, loss of happiness. When the fact of the matter is you have a new prospect. You have an opportunity for a two of cups elsewhere if you could just look at it and accept it. Thing is, is you're, you this may be bring some conflicts into your life, but you know, when you speak your truth, it also brings peace. Okay, so I feel like you really need to speak your truth at this time. Right now, you're being cheated. Whether there's cheating going on, whether it's you, the other person, whatever, there's deceit. Somebody is wearing a mask. Somebody is wearing a mask. They're in denial here. Um, it's like there's other people see that you're conflicted and they see that you're going back and forth. Other people can see that you're unbalanced at this time. They can see it. That you're wearing it. Okay. They can see that you're not happy, that you're discontent. Your challenge, your challenge is to free yourself from a toxic situation, something that isn't meant to be. It's a false bond. That's your challenge. So your challenge is letting yourself be loved. I mean, you deserve love. You deserve to be cuddled in the whole nine yards. It's time for you to realize the truth and come out of this darkness and see the light. You deserve. You deserve. You're dealing with somebody who's really insecure. And there's no chance of reconciliation with this situation. This per it's not going to change. It's a false bond. And you it's a false foundation. And you're sacrificing yourself needlessly, hoping that something is going to change. But it's not. There's no reconciliation. There's no resurrection here. There's a loss of hope. There's a loss of faith. There's dishonesty. Somebody is absolutely refusing to take the mask off and wake up. Whether it's you or the other person. You know, I feel like there's there's a discontent in some sort of commitment in which, you know, you don't want to hurt the other person, but the other person is manipulating you in an emotional way to get you to stay. And therefore, it's causing a lot of heartache within you. It's not, there's incompatibility here. This could be, there's a breakup. I think there's a breakup. There's a breakup on the horizon because there's, there's no more passion. There's no more love. It's just, it's fizzled out. And I'm sorry to tell you that. But what about the future in love? Now, this looks like this. there's a breakup coming, whether it's happened recently or it's going to happen this week. You know, so there's been some sort of cheating going on, whether it's, it's cheating with another person or you're cheating yourself. Accepting reality, the moon reverse. Somebody is about to accept the reality, the truth of the situation. The, the mask is coming off. Perhaps with the new moon that we just had. And it's going to bring you something solid and stable in the future. Now you're being offered a new solid opportunity as soon as that mask is ripped right off. And this, this unhappy union dissolves. There's a new opportunity that leads to something solid and stable and long term. But you are you have to make the decision and accept the truth. Take that blindfold off. There's the blindfold again. Somebody the truth is being denied. This is ignoring the truth. Avoiding It's time to go get what you deserve. You deserve to be loved. You deserve equality within a relationship. You deserve to be treated like you treat others. Do you know what I mean? I feel like you're not getting reciprocation from another person. And that's not fair. 
You know, it's no longer about trying to prove your worth. It's about being happy. And I think that's what this week is about. It's about I'm going to face my fears, go after what I deserve to bring balance to my life, and end this, whatever it is, this partnership. Because I just want happiness now. I want happiness. This may be a sudden decision as well. The two of wands is often a sudden decision. I suddenly decide that I want love. I would rather be single and happy and enjoy life than be in a situation where we're fighting all the time and there's confusion and illusion and lies. I want happiness. So I feel like you guys are headed towards happiness. I think that it's decision making time. I'm no longer going to prove myself. I want to be happy that we are uncombat un incompatible. That two of cups reverse is incompatibility. A breakup. With the tower card right next to it. It's, it's, it's a false connection. It's false. It's no longer stable. It's no longer concrete. It's no longer strong. And it's time for you to make the decision. Be strong. Be decisive and do what's right for you so that you can be happy again. Now let's clarify this Ace of Cups reversed because that's a lack of love. You're not feeling loved. Or you're not in love. Somebody, there's not, there's a lack of love on one side. Yeah, you're dealing with somebody who's lying. They're untrustworthy. We have the Knight of Swords reversed. This is an untrustworthy, manipulative, dishonest person who is not telling you the truth. And it's caused a lot of worry. It's caused a lot of sleepless nights. And they're making you feel guilty. You're staying because you feel guilty. But you're thinking about walking away. So I think that, you know, it's time to walk away. It is so that you can be happy and find your bliss. You know, it's, you may feel like you're being attacked. This person may attack you at times. They don't want you to move on. Because they're over emotional. And what the thing is, is that they've caused you to become emotionally withdrawn. They're using emotional blackmail against you. And that's what's happening here. This right here, this is abundance, this is security, this is stability. There could be somebody moving, moving out of a home because there's no more wish fulfillment there. There's no more happiness. This is the completion. of something that is untrue. It's not a happy, it's not a happy, content relationship. It's not. It's caused you to feel emotionally withdrawn and detached because somebody is, is lying. Somebody is lying out. And some people, you cross watchers definitely aren't going to like this. Somebody likes the stability of it, but there's there's not love. You have to find the resources, the tools within you to shed the old. That's what this is, to take action. You have to take action to bring success to your life. You, this is about being willing to shed the old so that you can bring in the new, what is meant for you. It's about finding your power. There's a new beginning with that Ace of Pentacles being offered to you right now. It's a golden opportunity. Are you going to let that go? 
Are you going to let that golden opportunity go for somebody that is manipulating you into staying through emotional blackmail? I mean, that's what I see. For fear of the unknown? Because they're guilt tripping you? Now, this won't resonate with everybody, but you're dealing with somebody that, where, that you are absolutely not compatible with. And it'd be, you'd be better off single, happy, enjoying life. And it's time for you to stand up for yourself, to speak your truth. Because you deserve to be loved, period. Positive thoughts create positive results. Divine love and wisdom, I call upon you now. I know that my mind and emotions are eternally and continuously connected to you. I ask my higher self to be aware and conscious of the love and light that is within every person in situation. Positive thoughts create positive results. You have a golden opportunity waiting for you that you've manifested, which I can see with this card and this card now. It's what you want. It's what you desire deep down in your heart, in your passion. You're desiring this solid, stable opportunity, this love. But right now you're in a situation where somebody is not being honest, whether it's you or the other person or both of you. Remove yourself from this negative situation. Bring the positivity back. And this golden opportunity will show right up on your doorstep. And that's my advice. Talk to you later.